Hi there, welcome to my 8 square meter studio space. This video is pretty self-indulgent, I'm not going to lie. Um, I just really want to document the way that this space is now. Um, and if it changes a lot, I'll make another one next year. Since age kind of 12, I've been an aspiring musician, um, which is now my full-time job. And I've always like dreamed of like having some kind of my own private studio practice room soundproof and at the time I was starting to be a guitarist I was like oh all the amps all the amps everywhere all the guitars on the walls oh. for about three years I was living in a two-bedroom apartment on my own in the summer of 2020 I turned the spare room into a kind of makeshift studio space so that I wasn't crawling out of bed spending all my time at the desk which is less than a step away from my bed <laughs> and then going back to sleep in the same bed every day I was a little bit sick of it I needed some separation there in October just passed, I moved in with family and I have the great luxury of being able to have a bedroom and a studio space. This space serves multiple different functions for me. The first and most obvious one being a filming set. So I film in here for the YouTube channel. That is one thing. Another is online teaching. Another is admin and like general paperwork work and freelance work. And the fourth is practice, recording, writing. And then the last one is just chilling out. So to kick things off, the tour doesn't actually start in the room. Again, being really lucky, we've got the loft or attic that was gonna be the studio. We just put flooring down and made that into storage. At the moment, all the instruments and gear that are in there are things that I either need to repair or I don't need to use on a regular enough basis to justify keeping it in the small space that is the studio. So it just lives there and I bring the ladder down and go up and bring stuff down as and when. Things like sudos and you know spare skins and yeah, anything that I don't need all the time lives in the attic. Second chapter, the doorway. As you come in the doorway, you're greeted immediately by an IKEA shelf top shelf a little bit more decorative it's got a lovely plant <laughs> yeah it's a fake plant and a little book light and this is just a rechargeable LED that has three different settings it's really good for adding a bit of ambience into the room I hate having like a big light on in a room it's just not it's just not what I'm about <laughs> I like lots of little light sources that aren't super bright and overpowering next shelf down is where I keep my Roland SPD which I kind of gave myself as a Christmas present from me to me after sort of surviving a difficult year. <laughs> I intend to do a full review of that in the sort of near future. Uh, I just need a little bit more time to play with it. Below that is a purely decorative shelf and it's got my spirits, you know, it's got different kinds of whiskey and an empty cachaça bottle and next to it a, a cashew sheet because I don't know where else to put it and it just looks kind of nice there. I mean being Scottish I have to have whiskey, right? That's how it works. And on the bottom shelf, you've got the case for the Roland SPD. And underneath that is a Brazilian flag that I don't really know where to put it. So it's just, it just kind of lives there now. From looking directly at the shelf, if you move to your right, you've got the cupboard. At first, I wasn't sure how I'd make the most of this space and I'm still trying to figure that out, it has to be said. I've got this metal shelving unit, also from Ikea, which is technically bigger than the width of the doors. So I had to kind of build it at an angle and then kind of force it in so I'm, I'm not looking forward to taking it out when I need to take it out but that's future Jordan's problem not mine. <laughs> Top shelf is kind of generally camera stuff and some bits of microphones and things that I'm using a little bit more regularly. Moving down to the middle one it's all stands and hardware for drums, microphones, lights, cameras, all that kind of stuff that just lives there in that middle shelf. And then the bottom shelf is kind of the main dumping ground of this space. <laughs> Moving up, we've got a pegboard, which I thought we'd use more, but actually I'm struggling to find things to put on it <laughs> just because of the way I've organized things. Then moving above that, we've got a shelf which has a bunch of straps for drums and then also an empty box, which I can fill with stuff. The inside of this is lit by just a little LED light that has a motion sensor and it's rechargeable. Just to, next to that is the window, which when I'm working during the day, can let in some natural light and I can see outside from my desk, which is ideal. 
I still need to change the curtains though. They're not the ones that I chose. <laughs> Moving around to the back wall where the door is. All of that is covered with acoustic treatment. It's the most obvious thing about it. I'm no expert when it comes to kind of room acoustics. I'm not an audiophile or someone who works in that world, but I just felt having all of that would just limit most of the reverb in this room. And I want some natural reverb, but not too much. So I actually tried, I sort of trialed it out with just the top layer being smaller panels. And then that was okay, but actually I wanted a little bit more dampening and I'm working on the door to uh, make it airtight and make the room soundproof or as soundproof as possible without building a room within a room. The shelves. Now the shelves unit is, it was originally in this room and then it moved to my old apartment and I fell in love with it and then we had to move it out of there again to bring it here. Um, and it's so heavy that like, I, I don't want to take it anywhere with me. Like I'll, I'll happily just leave it here <laughs> if we were to move out. It's kind of decorative and functional. Everything on here has a purpose. It's also just a really great backdrop for Zoom calls or anything like that. So the very top, a bit of a dumping ground, not gonna lie. On the shelf, I keep things like instruments I use a lot, cables, adapters, microphones in some cases, notebooks, books, CDs, sticks, a lot of different things that I use on a pretty regular basis or would like to have access to super quickly if I'm at my desk. Right behind me is the feature, the, the feature wall, I guess. And it just brings a big splash of color to the room and just adds a lot to it. On there, got two pieces of art. This one is from an amazing company called Pindo Rama or Pindo Hama, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Sorry guys. They make prints, they sell t-shirts, hoodies really really amazing stuff i'll link their website down below if you're interested in that sort of thing and then this is a painting that i bought from a random vendor in general azorio in rio which is just off of ipanema beach and they're sort of they have a famous hippie market it's called uh, which happens every saturday there and i just saw this guy loved the style and bought it from him and so that reminds me of my first trip to brazil in 2017. The desk area is where I spend pretty much all of my time. I only really leave here to eat, clean myself <laughs> uh, and sleep. That's basically it. All my spare time, all my working time is here. Let's start off with the desk itself. It's a sit sand desk that I got a couple of years ago from Costco, um, which makes life a hundred times easier if you are recording instruments. Seriously, if, you, if you're recording instruments at home and you can get a sit-stand desk, but you don't need big monitors. I mean, I don't have space for monitors, but you might be able to fit monitors on. It's just a suggestion. I think it's great. It's changed my life in terms of recording audio. The desk has three USB ports built into the side also. So any charging I need to do just comes out of the desk. And then there's a little drawer, which is mostly stationary, SSD drive, and some random bits and pieces that are good for fiddling with, with I don't want to work. <laughs> Computer wise, I've got a late 2013 27 inch iMac running OS Catalina to it. I've attached a 19 inch Dell display um, just because I, I had it spare. And I like to multitask and have lots of different things open rather than a million tabs and a million windows. I can just have some tabs here, some tabs on the other window. And it's just honestly another thing, another little thing that just totally changed my life. Connected to the computer at all times is my Scarlett Focusrite Solo first generation as well. There's a USB hub. That's just a nice thing because I hate the Apple USB or lack thereof USB ports. Also the fact that iMac stuff is on the back can drag this out and plug it in dead easy. The latest addition to the Studio Vibes are these Nanoleaf smart lights. They're more expensive than I'd like them to be, but honestly, they're just the best. I have these switched on as soon as it's kind of acceptable in my mind to switch them on for some extra vibes. Totally customizable. If it's a really dark, gloomy day, I can have the daylight one on and it kind of makes the room feel a little bit more alive rather than cold, gray, miserable Scotland. <laughs> 
And that brings us back round. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it's given you some inspiration for your work from home setup. I've been working from home for a while in various capacities, so it's really nice to have it in a place that's really good right now, especially since we're doing a lot of it. Uh, but this is something I've built up over quite a few years. So if you see this and think, oh, like I want all of those things right now, it's not the way it happens annoyingly. Like I have total studio envy over so many different people all the time. Um, so just make the most of what you've got. This studio, like my own work from home space is, I'm gonna put like a little montage of some photos up right now. It's taken a lot of different shapes over the years. And this is like the first iteration where I feel like it's starting to really work well for me. So I'm glad to be in this space right now. I think the only thing that I would change about it right now if I could without any problems would just be to make it a bit bigger. But aside from that, it's totally fine. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, comment. If you have any thoughts you wanna share or any questions to ask. Usually I post videos about percussion and world music. So if you're into that, subscribe for more. Yeah, hopefully see you in another video sometime soon. Bye.